don't remember the girl's name who lived in the flats above the swings. What I recall is how she would descend the stairwell like an apparition, a premonition, of something not masculine and more dangerous. Fourth. She would laugh at her own jokes, ask the boys whether our balls had dropped yet, or how often we tossed off. I was no more than ten, and this girl older than us, in supple flesh and defiant soul, would wait until I sat upon the swing to begin her initiation. She straddled my lap, faced my front, and ground her pelvis on my cock. Say what you like, she'd say, but don't tell me it ain't hard. I blushed, tempered the flood. Her hot breath paralyzed me with want. When the girl began to date and watch the older men arrive in cars with stallion-powered engines, electric windows, speakers built for stadiums and leather seats, after her fucking on, she continued to sit in our laps and swing, but not one of us copped so much as a kiss. She had a little brother who wore a parka, whatever the weather. One night during hot rain we caught him on his own and half killed him. In violence we exercised the sex we never got to expend on his sister.